The archival directory is a manual encoding of numerous archival descriptions and collections. It has a strong transnational focus, and one of its aims is to include many archives and institutions which are little known or rarely used by researchers. The archival directory allows the historian to view sources in a rarely seen transnational and comparative view. It is focused on archives and libraries containing documentation for historical research on the medieval period and World War I. Users can also create and edit archival descriptions as they use the archival directory in the course of their research. The archival directory was created using Atom Access to Memory. Atom is a free web -based, based open source application that can be used to create multilingual and multi-repository interfaces and databases for archival descriptions. This is the archival directory homepage. You can search for archival descriptions. Here I am searching for all entries on Austria and I get 102 results. Uh, you can also browse and on the left hand side is a list of archival descriptions that, have, that are popular this, this week, that is that they've been used by other users. You can browse by archival descriptions, archival institutions, subjects and places. Browsing by archival descriptions. These can be limited by languages, here English, German, Dutch, French and Italian, and by archival institutions. So for example, here I can limit for archival descriptions in the Bundesarchiv, and I get 33 results. And I can choose one, and here is the description. You can browse by archival institutions, and these also can be narrowed by language and by archive type also by geographic regions and here I can click on the Archives de Departementales du Nord and get the following information. You can also browse by subjects. Here on the left hand side is a long alphabetical list of all possible subjects. Here I am going to go and choose policy for which there are 20 results. All of these are relevant archival descriptions for this subject. And I can choose one and get the following archival description. You can also browse for places and there is a drop down alphabetical list uh, for which you can then search for suitable places. Here I will choose Albania and for this I get two archival descriptions. You can also limit them by subjects and languages. The archival directory is just one of the building blocks in the planned virtual research environment in Sendari, where it will be an integrated tool.